Hello everyone. Big game are we? Pickups 84. Yeah, no beer today. We're on the coke. Very heavy night last night. And I'm filming this now at 9 o'clock in the morning. And there's something bugging me was on the camera. So I can get rid of that. Yeah. So, uh, <coughs> as you can tell, <laughs> not in the best shape today. But I thought I needed to get this out of the way because I want to go downstairs and sort out the Xbox 360 wall and then do a video on it. Showing you how it looks now and like putting these hundred odd games that I've got away. It's a lot. I've just been lazy and not done it for ages. New look downstairs as well. Looks really nice. You'll enjoy it. So yeah, <clears throat> video coming soon of putting all these in the wall. But, yeah, so I just had to, this is basically every 360 game I had sitting on the side left. Just because I want a fresh start again. So, if you don't like 360, see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs> but yeah, if you do, we've got 27 Xbox 360 games here. Yeah, this ain't even like nothing compared to what I've got downstairs. There's about 70 downstairs already. I say it's like nearly 100 games to go in the wall. So yeah, let's get through these. There's, they're all in alphabetic order as always. <clears throat> so first up we have got... Castlevania, Lord of Shadows 2. But yeah, no manual with this one. This is why I took a gamble on this on CEX because I knew they didn't have a manual. So... <clears throat> I'm sure you've all played the Castlevania games. These are a little bit different compared to how you normally like them. Obviously moving into the 3D era rather than 2D. But yeah, do like uh, a bit of Dracula style games. <laughs> Which I hope so because I bought the Castlevania collection as well. The Lord of Shadow collection. So this is basically just Castlevania 1. With... The second disc, I believe, has got like a demo to Castlevania 2 on it. So, <clears throat> yeah, then I've, then I've recently found out that you're sometimes lucky enough just to find this as Castlevania 1 in CEX. They don't list it any different, but I, I went and paid £17 for this on eBay rather than the £3, whatever it is, for Castlevania 1 in CEX. But... How many times are you going to order Castlevania and then hope that this comes up? Probably worth, just worth getting it on eBay. And you know it comes with a manual and everything. So. Next up. This one's obviously had a box replacement at some stage from a FIFA game. It's Championship Manager 2007. As you can see, someone's tried to remove it. So I'll have a little go at cleaning that a bit better. Get some goo gone on there, might get rid of it. <clears throat> but yeah, I do like my football management games. I might not be very good at them if you've been watching my uh, Road to the Premier League uh, series I'm doing on a Saturday. The old soccer Saturday. I'm sure it'll get better. Stick with it, lads, stick with it. We're, we're going to get there. Anyway, that's all nice and complete. Uh, another CEX Online Gamble come through. Absolute perfect condition is Conan. So I don't know if that's meant to be Arnie. Don't look like him. But yeah, I'm guessing it's based on the Conan film from the 70s or 80s, whatever it was. So, can't really tell much from the back. I'm hoping it's not a fighting game. It look, hopefully it's just like a beat em up style game. <coughs> Hard to tell. Hard to tell from the screenshots. Someone will let me know. Right, this one I bought off eBay because literally I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was just going through my list seeing which ones I needed in order, obviously. <coughs> and I was missing Dark. So this looks like a nice stealthy style game. Futuristic Metal Gear Solid, maybe? I don't know. It looks weird. Get to fight some opponents on hide in the dark. Is this anything to do with Thief? 
stealth adventure to sink your teeth into from the Xbox 360 magazine. But yeah, <clears throat> obviously coming from eBay. I know it's going to be complete. And I think I actually got this cheaper delivered than it was in CEX, so always a bonus as well. Right, <clears throat> this one I took a gamble on. It was like one pound, one pound and 9p with like 99p post or something, so call it two quid all in. I have no idea what it is. I don't even know if you can even use it anymore. It's, it's basically an, it's, it's an expansion to a game. So it has three expansions in it. And that is Destiny, The Taken King. So it's got Expansion 1, Expansion 2, and The Taken King. The Legendary Edition. And then let me just make sure the codes are covered, yep. So basically it's got some codes in there. Don't know if they've been used or not. <clears throat> There's a couple of codes there. Just a single disc game, so I'm hoping it's all going to be on the disc rather than on that. But that just looks like a normal Destiny disc. I didn't even notice that before. So all, everything must be on that. <laughs> Which I'm not, I'm not going to play it anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. Right, next up, we have got, from the Marvel series, we have got The Incredible Hulk. Yeah, everyone loves the Hulk. So yeah, it's going to be uh, your typical... 3D beat em up style game, it's gonna be fun. Hopefully easy, I don't know. Some of these are easy, some of these ain't. Oh, I need to start cracking through these or it's gonna be a long video. The old chicken man again getting a mention won't be happy. So we've got The Last Remnant. So, Boar Ho Ho actually gave me a copy of this but it had no manual in it. So now, complete <clears throat> so very happy with that two disc game have no idea what it's about so looking forward to get stuck into that one day next up we have got ninja gaiden 3 everyone loves the ninja gaiden series or gaiden however you want to say it, it says gaiden to me so yeah it's all nice and complete some little extras behind there, yeah, there's a nice code there, didn't see that, no. Don't know if that's still working, but if it is, I'll try it out. <clears throat> We've got a nice shooter game. Operation Flashpoint, The River. Yeah, all nice and complete. I believe this completes my subset of these games. We now have the complete collection of Resident Evil. So this is Revelations 2. I believe I've got all the others. This one's no manual, yeah. Just found this in my local CS and went, you know what? I'll buy that. This game, I tried putting it in my app and it doesn't show, so it must be like a European exclusive one that never come out in this, I can't remember which app I use. Game my game my app. Yeah, this one doesn't show on there. And that's Rugby 15. I think there's a few games on there that don't show. I think I'm over a thousand games now, although it's only saying I've got 996 on the app. But I know for a fact this one makes it 997, and I think there's a couple of others. Then we've got The Saboteur. I would like that rather than like that. Oui, oui, bonjour. Bit of French there in the background. The Jarful Tasa. But Viva the Vengeance! Some French game. So it's Berry on. It's uh, Martin, that UK gamer. Look, there he is. So, yeah, I don't know what it's about, but I'm sure it'll be fun. And then we've got part of the Lord of the Rings. We have got Shadow of Mordor. Medieval Earth. So, this is going to be uh, your typical. Fighting, 3D, running around style games. If you've ever played any of the Lord of the Rings style games, I'm guessing it's going to be like that. Uh, got some codes. Yep, turn them that way around. So, yep, there you go. All nice and complete. Just want to say this is a two disc game as well. 
And that is Shadow of Mordor. Alright, second pile, finally. Ah, oh, right, I'm happy with this one. This one was quite an expensive one. I've had this sitting around for a while. Uh, I was going to put it as just like when I do my pickups video, when I only show you like one 360 game. These next couple are going to be like just the one 360 game. But yeah, it's here now. It's Spider Man Shattered Dimensions. But yeah, these, these are quite pricey, the old Spider Man games. I think this was like pushing 30 quid, 28 quid maybe. But I, have, I bought it with a voucher a very long time ago, so it's already come down in value now. But it was, I think, 28 quid at the time. And this one I got off eBay because there was none in stock in CEX. And uh, I managed to get this. I think it was about eight or nine pound cheaper than they stock in CEX. It's not a cheap game. I'm looking forward to playing it. I know old Geordie, uh, Geordie Slasher Gaming would like this. So Mark, if you haven't got it, get yourself Splatterhouse. He's probably got it on PS3. Sony Pony. <laughs> but yeah, there it is. Splatterhouse. On the Xbox 360. The unstalkable sound of. No, was that the un? Oh, the unmistakable sound of tearing flesh. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrible at reading. Is there? I'm gonna blame that it's all in different sizes and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> right, next one. I have no idea what this is. I think it's a shooter game. I believe I had this on the Xbox, uh, on the PS3 at some stage. I might still have it. I uh, can't see it. I thought I had it on the PS3. And that's Storm Rise. Nice Sega game. But yeah, nice little shooting game. Humans versus monsters by the looks of it. Nice thick manual to tell you what to do. Added to the collection. Right, next up, this one I've definitely got on the on the PS3. Can I see it from here? So the PS3 one we moved on now. I need to get some Google on the back of this because it's got a terrible sticker stuck on it from Blockbuster at some stage in Staple Tire, which is in Harlow. Yeah. So I actually bought this in Harlow, so it never went too far from where it originally came from. And that is four God of Thunder. Yeah, and there's the big sticker. I thought it was actually on the box itself, but no, it's on the actual inlay. But it is nice and complete. So, I'm either going to source a new inlay from somewhere, which I'll probably do because it looks like it's already starting to eat into the artwork, so... Before I damage the artwork anymore, I'll just leave that sticker on there. And uh, I'll manage to find a new one somewhere. <clears throat> Even if I have to buy the game again and move that one on. Right, next up we have got Transformers The Game. Which I thought I had on the PS3 as well, but I don't. So, this, or is it on the PS2? I think I've got this on the PS2 actually. I can't remember. One of them, one of them. GameCube, maybe? Got too many games for too many different systems. Need to sort them all out. Why do you need the same game six times? So, yeah. And then, I saw this the other day. I was in Harlow when I picked up four. And I'm like, that's one you don't see around very much. And it had £15 on it. And I thought, well, I've got a voucher. I need to sort some more vouchers out because I've only got about four quid left at the moment on vouchers. And they're after these. But, yeah. It was uh, Transformers, or the Fall of Cybertron, yeah, this was £15. So I see it sitting there and I thought, oh, it's bound to not have a manual, it's bound to not have a manual, and boom, it had a manual. I'm like, alright, it's mine, I'm grabbing it. So yeah, there you go, for the, for the whole sum of £15, it better be good. Because you normally find that they, if they put the higher prices on the 360 games, they're normally pretty good. Uh, next up, we have got World Championship Poker 2 All In, which I thought was an easy uh, completion, but Ross has told me no, it's a 200 odd, odd hour plus game. 
So yeah. It's only because we was on an after party chat and I could see it behind them. I'm like, I'll oh, just pick that up. Is it easy to complete? He's like, no. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. World Series of Poker. Well, World Championship Poker. Right, next up. Pretty good one, this. I've had this for a hell of a long time again. The story came about with this. It was in my local CX, but it had no manual in it for ages. And I went down to arcade club probably two, three months ago now with uh, Eddie and Paul and loads of others. Glory Hunter. Uh, there was a lot of us there. But um, the next day, me, Eddie and um, Glory Hunter, and then we met up with Core Banner later on, went to Eddie's local CEX. And they had this game in there. And I opened it up and it had the manual and I'm like, oh, lovely. So I went up to the counter, said, oh, I'll buy this. It was the only one I wanted. And she's like, oh, we can't find a disc. I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. I said, oh, can I be cheeky? She's like, oh, what's that? I said, they've got a copy of this game in my local CX, but it's got no manual. I said, is there any chance I can have the manual for it? So she went and asked the manager and the manager went, yeah, yeah, give it to him. <laughs> so, yeah, then I went back and bought my one. Lucky enough, it hadn't sold. So yeah, we now have the Worms Collection complete with a manual. So yeah, this, this game has come from my local CEX with no manual in it. And the manual has come from Eddie's local CEX. So yes, go and check out Eddie. His local CEX sometimes has manuals you can have. But yeah, I think that's kind of like, because they know like I'm going to buy the game from them. So they made some money by giving me that manual. Because I went back. The next day I bought it from my CX. And this was an eBay purchase. I was worried because I thought this had a manual for ages. It turns out it don't. Well, I'm hoping it don't. Every list I looked at didn't have one. But I managed to get this for a pound cheaper than CEX price. Plus I didn't have the posters on top as well, so it's like three quid saving. And that's Zoo Tycoon. So yeah, I know there's an Xbox One version of this as well. But yeah, it's got no manual, but I'm sure I've seen one before. It's had a manual in it, or maybe like a little slip thing on it. I don't know. But everyone I looked at never had anything, so maybe I was looking at the wrong game. <laughs> but yeah, Zoo Tycoon. So that is all of the normal 360 games. Right now, we've got three Connect games that will take us down to, I believe, seven left, maybe six left. I can't remember what it is now. There's not many. So we have got Motion Sport. Add a look, add a line. Add a line. Add, add your line, I don't know. Whatever that says. You don't come here to listen to me to pronounce things, do you? Or maybe you do. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. All nice and complete. And then uh, I picked this up for one of my local CXs. I think they looked funny at me when I uh, asked her about it. And then I said, oh, can you check if he's got a manual? And they went through it. They're like, oh, there's no manual for it. And I'm like, let me just check online to see if it comes with one. <laughs> Which I found out it doesn't come with one. But they're probably looking at me all funny now. Thinking, why on earth is he buying Just Dance Kids 2014? Yes, I believe I need one more Just Dance game. I think it's the greatest hits ones I'm missing. I can't remember now. Could find out. Why showing these? I will tell you which ones I'm missing. So let's load up CX while I'm showing you the last game. Well, I say the last game, I've got one compilation as well. But. The last Connect game I've got here is. Yes. Is. Nike. Nike Training. Or Nike Connect Training, whatever you want to call it. Or Tick Plus, as this is. Which is Nike. But yeah, this is all nice and complete. Doesn't come with a manual, but it's got some codes on there. And I'll say again, don't know if they've been used. So yeah, that is 
We're on the final stretch now, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven connect games left. So we still need Motion Explosion, Just Dance, Greatest Hits, Nickelodeon Dance 2, Penguins of Madagascar, Power Rangers Super Samurai, Rabbids Invasion, I think I've already got that though, I have to check, I've got a Rabbids game, might not be that one, and Spongebob Surf and Skate Road Trip. So six of them are currently in stock in CX, so if I had some vouchers I could have ordered them, but I don't. I've only got four quid, I don't buy any of them. Cheapest one is four pound, and obviously you need the postage on top, so no point. But yeah, that is that is what I've got left. Seven games. Seven connect games. And then last up for this one, completing all of my Xbox 360 games, getting them out of the way. There is literally none left. I'm just looking around. There is none. Nope. All right, this is the last one. It is Just Cause Collection. So yeah, there's a few of these double packs. Some people don't count them towards the full set, but I've got a list wherever it's gone now. I've lost it. I did have a list. I put it somewhere. Well, it's got all the double and triple packs on it, and I've got a few of them so far, so I just saw this and I thought, you know what? I'll grab it whilst there. It's literally the two games. No difference about There you go. And that is meant to have a classic disc on it because if you have noticed, Just Clause 2 is the classic edition. And the first one is just a normal one. So there you go. That is it. That is pickups 84 done. All this 360 stuff is going downstairs into the wall. And we'll show you a nice video of Harris looking after it's done. Gonna have to think around some ideas. I don't know what to do yet. We'll do something. But yeah, I've got all them to go down. It's a lot. I was thinking about leaving gaps for the ones I'm missing, but it's going to be a lot of gaps because I'm still missing about 200, so I probably won't do that. Maybe I'll go back to our Adam before with a few facing out. I don't know. We'll work it out when I get down there. So for now, that is everything. That is all my 360 games you've seen. So that just leaves me to say thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.